So now that our chuck ring is set up, we're going to put our lid back on there inside of that chuck ring. And as you can see now, the trimming is a breeze. It might bounce a little bit if your chuck ring isn't 100% exactly the right size, but that's not going to make a big deal in the end. As long as this lid isn't flying all over the place, you're going to be able to trim it. And now that we've got it trimmed, we can go ahead and attach the knob. So we're going to take our knob and our scoring tool. You're going to want to score that up really well. The knob and the lid have both set up to about the same amount, so that's good. You want to, you want to try to get them as close as possible to each other. Wet the top. Give it a nice spin to get some score lines in there. And then do it again. And once you got them both nice and goopy, you're going to want to set that knob on there. Now this is a little tricky because you need to tap it on center, but only from the base. Because our top isn't actually round. So once you see that the base is on center, you're going to get a little bit of water in there and push down. You do want to push on the top with your finger to try to avoid getting an air pocket in the center. And then just kind of push and pull out on the base with your finger. It's a little tricky since that knob is not circular. But now we've got it attached and once this is fired it will be completely fused and it will be a great place to hang the bird feeder.